Hi, welcome to another episode of Comma Comma TV. Today I want to tackle a question that came up in a meeting recently, and that is the question of how do I tell the difference between good copy and bad copy? If I'm not a copywriter and I'm not in the industry, how do I know whether the copy that someone's written for me is any good? It's a great question, a uh, bit of a challenge to answer. I would liken it to, let's say you're buying a bike on eBay and you're looking at the listing, you like the picture, the frame size is the right frame size for you, it's carbon fibre, it's got the group set you want on paper, it's got all the elements that you need, but until you ride that bike, you won't know for sure whether it's the right bike for you. You need to get a feel for it. And similar with copy so you could have all the right elements in place you could see that there's a great headline you've got a, a really attention grabbing intro that draws people in you've got some nice persuasive copy in the middle with bullet points that give all the benefits you've got a call to action everything is there as it should be but until you test it out on your audience you're not going to know whether it's good copy in inverted commas and so the best way to make sure you get good copy is ideally hire a copywriter that's come recommended, hire someone who has got good results for their previous clients, and hire someone who's prepared to do the research needed to get good results. So there's plenty of copywriters out there that will guess at what is going to connect with your audience, but what you really want is someone who's done the research into your target market, so they know how to connect with them, how to talk their language, how to tap into their pain points, and that's the kind of copy that's going to get you good results. Um, so that's the answer to the question. The answer is it's not straightforward to see whether the copy is good or bad. You do need to test it on your audience. That's it for today. Bye for now.